Hello po, nasa final step na po tayo sa ating application process for PNPKI. Uh, make sure to have your DPID email with you. Okay, so magla-login po tayo at mag encode ng activities and i-upload po natin yung form na ginawa natin by going to the uh, link that I'm going to put under the description or i-follow nyo lang yung pinakita ko kanina na link, na bit.ly link. Now, paano mag-login? Since wala naman pong sign up option, i-click nyo lang po yung login using your account on Deep Ed Commons Teacher. Gamit po yung um, Deep Ed email ID natin. In, in my case, I am already logged in to the Deep Ed Commons. But if you're not yet logged in to the Deep Ed Commons, you will need to use your Deep Ed email ID. Okay. So just click on it. I'm already logged in. Ano? At nag-log out ako. Okay. Alit para ipakita ko sa inyo kung ano ang i-click. Log in to Deep Ed Commons teachers. Yan. If you're not logged in to Deep Ed Commons, you will be asked for your credentials. Later I will show you a video on how to to log in na raw using your deep ed, our deep ed email id or email ad so now i'm going to show you how to access by clicking on the site home access the uh, deep ed lms course click on Professional Development, may dalawang course na makikita, i-click nyo po yung unang course, which is the submission of the application requirement for the PNPKI. Click Access button on that course, and then you will be asked for, a, for an enrollment key, which our division will provide. Now, I'm going to show you what is our division key. Division enrollment key for Eastern Summer in a while. Okay, I'll copy it to a larger text uh, Notepad Right here And I'll, I'll, I'll also type it in the description box para hindi na po tayo mag, mag Ano mahirapan ikakapi na lang po natin yung ano enrollment key Just copy it on the text box And then click enroll me now you will be redirected to another page. Yan. Okay. Scroll down. Scroll down po tayo. Makikita po natin na sa general information, kailangan natin i-download yung PNPKI form which in our case, tapos na natin i-download at i-fill out. So, we don't need to do that anymore. What we are going to click here is the the option or this option below, Eastern Summer PNPKI. Ayan. Now, you will be redirected to another page similar to the previous page. Pero meron na kayong makikita ng activities. So, this activity kailangan natin i-accomplish before proceeding to the next which is uploading the PNPKI form. To guide us further, I want you to also watch this another video that I'm going to show. Morning po sa ating lahat. Uh, discuss ko lang po kung paano po tayo pupunta sa ating learning management system and magta-take ng PNPKI course para po makapag-submit ng ating PNPKI application form and for the validation na rin po para sa DICT. Okay po. So, before we proceed sa pagpasok sa course, kailangan po muna natin mag-login. 
So, sa nakikita niyo po sa inyong screen, ang ginamit kong sample is from region 6. So, ito po yung r 6 2 .lms.depend.gov.ph So, para po makalagin tayong mga teachers and non-teaching personnel, kailangan po natin i-click ang DepEd Commons Teachers button and then magre-redirect po siya sa commons.depend.gov.ph But, hindi po tayo dito magre-login. So, ang ikiklik po natin ay sign in with Google or sign in with Microsoft. For this example, ang gagamitin ko po is sign in with Google. Alam ko naman po na familiar tayo sa ating DepEd email. So, yun po yung gagamitin natin na login. So, click sign in with Google. I-type ang inyong email. And then, click yung susunod or next. I-type ang inyong password. And then again, next. Para makapag-sign in. Mapapansin nyo po na kailangan nating i-authorize ang DepEd Commons para ma-connect niya ang ating account sa ating learning management system. Click lamang po natin ang kulay green na button or yung authorize button. And then, makakapasok na po siya sa ating learning management system. Hanapin po natin ang ating course na PNPKI. Click Site Home. And then, under ng category na Professional Development, makikita po natin ang course na PNPKI or Philippine National Public Key Infrastructure. I-click po natin ito. Dito, makikita nyo po na kailangan natin ng enrollment key. Saan po natin makukuha ang ating enrollment key? Ang enrollment key ay ipoprovide sa atin through a memorandum, either office memorandum or division memorandum, galing po sa ating mga DITO or RITO, sa atin po mga information technology officers. This time, may gagamitin ako example na key and then ipapaste ko na lang siya and then click, huwag po natin kakalimutan na i-click ang Enroll Me para makapasok po tayo sa mismong course. Kapag nakapasok na po tayo sa ating course, mapapansin natin na nandito yung form. Pwede na natin siyang i-download and then i-open natin and Lagyan na natin siya ng content. Ayan, for example, last name, first name, middle name, extension if meron. And then download para malagyan naman natin siya ng picture and ng signature. May mapapanood po tayong video dito po sa overview. Ang video na mapapanood natin dito ay kung paano sagutan yung mga form na ganito po. Meron din tayong makikita na mga instructions kung para saan naman o saan pwedeng magamit ang Philippine National Public Key Infrastructure. Nandito po ang mga materials or manuals and even the frequently asked questions. Makikita po natin yan. But the important part of this course is yung activities. Bakit po siya importante? For example, na-download na natin ang ating form. At nasagutan na natin siya. Click ko lang ang download. For example, ay nasagutan na siya. Click save. And then dito sa ating form, sa ating course, makikita natin na meron tayong activities. Sabi dito, upload PNPKI form. And then meron tayong sasagutan for validation. Hindi magiging available o hindi mo siya makiklik kapag hindi pa natin natatapos yung upload PNPKI form na activity. I-click natin ang upload PNPKI form activity. Sabi dito, please download and fill out the PNPKI individual certificate application form fillable version 2.4-4. Click the add submission button below, drag and drop or upload 
the completed form and then click save changes button and submit the file okay so click natin ang add submission sa box na ito dito po natin i-upload yung ating file pwede natin siyang i-drag and drop or i-search nyo gamit ang upload the file this time ang gagamitin ko lang is drag and drop as an example in uh, for example, ito po yung form na nasagutan ko na. Pwede nyo siyang i-rename ng nakapangalan po sa inyo para maging mas madali pong ma-check for validation. And then, click Save Changes. Once na na-save mo na siya, pwede ka nang mag-proceed sa next activity. Please answer accurately. This activity will validate the form you've submitted. So, yung form na pinakita ko sa inyo dito, yun din ang magiging content ng quiz na ito. Although siya ay nakalagay na quiz, but this is just for the validation. Ang nakalagay po dito ay last name, and etc. hanggang sa organizational unit, and then meron pa pong ilang questions. So, kailangan po magkatulad na magkatulad yung nilagay natin sa form, and dito po sa activity, na kailangan nating sagutan sa ating course. So, for example, sa last name, medyo magiging inconsistent siya dahil nakigamit po ako ng account, pero ang gagamitin ko na po dito is yung akin po information. So, fix. Kapag ka po wala tayong halimbawa is junior, the third, the first, like kay Sir Salvador Manansala, the first. So, ang ilalagay lang po natin is NA kung hindi siya applicable. Okay. Team, for example, ay mag-i-input na lang po ako ng random. And then, organization. Copy ko na lang po ito. And then, for the organizational unit, ICTS, ako po ay galing sa Educational Technology Unit. And then, click next page para po sa iba pang kailangan sagutan. So, unit, or ito yung ating residential address. So, ang ilalagay ko dito ay yung aming address. Hindi ko muna lalagyan yung email address nito. Bakit po? Isasample ko lang po sa inyo kung anong magiging itsura kapag ka nagkulang tayo ng activity. Click finish attempt. Yan, may kulang tayo number 16. Halimbawa ay hindi natin napansin na hindi pala natin nalagyan. For example, nandito sa bandang una yung nablangkohan natin. And naipasa po natin siya. Makikita natin na meron tayong attempt na dito isa. But kung titignan po natin sa activities, yan. kahit nakapagsagot na tayo, hindi pa rin na-enable yung download certificate. Ibig sabihin, hindi pa rin po natin siya nakukomplete. Wala pa rin po ditong check. Bakit po ganun? Dahil pag chinek natin siya, ibig sabihin, may kulang pa. Hindi pa natin nakukomplete ito. So, pwede natin siyang i-reattempt quiz. And then, makikita kung alin yung may kulang. Pwede mo na siyang i-click kung alin yung kulang natin. And then, type in yung kulang. And then, click finish attempt. Once na na-complete mo na siya, submit all and finish, makikita natin, available na ngayon yung download certificate of completion. Once na natapos po natin siya, pwede na natin i-download yung certificate and then i-validate na po ng ating personnel 
ang ating mga forms na ipinasa. Makikita natin na 100% na yung ating activities and yung ating course ay magiging complete na.